Alright guys, so today I have a really awesome video here. This is going to be on the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 3 Verizon variant. And I'm going to show you guys today how to install KitKat on this device. So I'm really, really pumped about this. This is an awesome, awesome work by Beanstown on uh, giving us directions on how to do this and all the files we need to do it. That being said, I'm just going to pause right here. We're going to go over to my computer and look at the thread on this on XDA and kind of go through some of it and we'll come back and forth between the computer and the phone. So let's go check out the computer really quick. All right, guys, so over here you can see um, this is the thread, and I'll give you a link to this in the video description. Uh, basically just says it's compatible with the retail version of the Gal of Verizon Note 3, and it's going to update you right here. So it actually says, ha, huh, of the newest Jelly Bean, which is not, it's not Jelly Bean, it's really funny. It's Kit Kat, but it's going to update you to the NC2. Um, and it's going to be already rooted, it's going to be BusyBox, it's going to have zip -align. it's going to be Odex right now, in it support, and it's going to remove the NOC security feature. Alright, so you're going to need to download this file and this file. Alright, make sure the MD5s match, is very important, so you have good downloads. If you don't know how to do that, I do have a video on uh, checking your MD5. It's very simple. Alright, so then we're going to go down to the uh, instructions here. So step one is going to be uh, make sure you are rooted. You're on a 4.3 ROM, which is the latest ROM, I think, which is MJE. Um, and then you want to have safe strap installed. So that's step number one. If you don't have and you don't, if you don't make step number one, then you need to watch my videos on how to get to this point. I have a bunch of them on this device on the YouTube playlist or rootjunkie.com. All right. So next, you're going to need to boot into safe strap. Uh, and select stock ROM slot and you're going to, have to do some things in there. Let's go over to my device and let's go ahead and go through those steps right now. Okay, so right now I'm just in a custom ROM. This is actually, um, I think it's Hyperdrive ROM actually with some wicked, wicked true leaks. Yes, it is Hyperdrive ROM right now. Um, I absolutely love this ROM. I think it's awesome. You can do some crazy cool stuff with it. But what we're going to do is we're going to get back into SafeStrap. So um, we're just going to do a restart. And it should start up. We should see the safe strap splash screen if you're familiar with it at all. And we'll get into safe strap. Now, because this is actually going to actually flash something to your stock ROM, which I normally almost never recommend because the safe strap, the whole point of it is to use ROM slots. Because it's doing that, and you're going to flash some new bootloader and you're going to flash some new firmware, we're going to do some things a little bit more complicated in this procedure to get this set up. But I'm going to try to do this the best way I know how to give you the most information I can about this. So we're going to boot right here into Safe Strap. Let me just show it to you here once you boot in. Okay. So first thing I would do um, is check out your boot options. So how many different ROMs do you have, ROM slots do you have? You can see I have two here. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go into here and click on Eclipse. And I'm just going to delete it. I don't want it on my device right now. Okay. I want these ROM slots to be clean. So you can see now ROM slot 2 is clean. Now before I switch this to, ROM, to stock ROM slot, I'm going to go in here and go to my restore files and just make sure I have nothing listed here. I don't want any backups of um, a ROM slot at this point because once we update to this new version of KitKat, they're not going to be functional for us anyway. All right. So that all being said, um, we're good here. So I'm going to go in here now and I'm actually going to activate ROM, stock ROM slot. And then I'm going to click on hyperdrive and I'm going to delete it. All right, this just gives you that full, like I said, that full clean slate when it comes to uh, having this all running correctly. We can go back, we go back again, go back into boot options. You can see all your ROM slots are just back to ROM slots and then, and you're activated on stock. All right, so from here, um, basically you're actually going to do a uh, wipe data factor reset and wipe off your uh, stock ROM slot. So before I would do that, I would go in here and look at your restores. If you don't have one, well, actually, it's not going to matter because if this doesn't function, um, you're going to need to do a firmware restore anyway. So just be aware that this process of getting KitKat factory resets your device. You're going to have to reset up all your apps, all your passwords, and if it fails, you're going to have to do an Odin restore. Okay? So there's no real reason to make a backup at this point because it's really much going to be useless. So we're going to go ahead and do a wipe data and go ahead and swipe across 
It's just going to wipe out everything to clean, get your stock ROM slot all good and clean to go. Next what we're going to do is we're going to install the new ROM which is Odex and it is um, the stock ROM for NC2 KitKat. So we're going to go into install and you're going to have to make sure this is already downloaded on your device. Here mine is actually already downloaded. It's actually already in the folder that I need to be in. So make sure it's downloaded obviously before you start you know, wiping data and things like that. Um, so a little bit out of order for you but if you read the steps you'll understand it on XDA. So we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and flash this over. So we're just going to let this thing flash, be patient with it, um, probably flashing this. This thing's like, what, a gig and a half file? Probably going to take upwards of, oh, I don't know, you know, probably about four or five minutes, maybe even faster. It's hard to say. Um, obviously, another thing you want to point out is you want to have good battery life before starting this process, really. Um, I know sometimes I tell you guys stuff a little out of order. That's why it's always good to watch the entire video before you start the process. And then follow back through it after you've got all like the heads ups on, you know, things like that that I forget to say right in the beginning. So, that being said, we're going to let this thing flash. Um, the next step after flashing this is to actually reboot into download mode, okay? Um, and then we're going to flash something in Odin. And I will get back to my computer and I will show you those steps and those processes um, as we get through these, these steps of how to get KitKat on your device. If your screen goes blank, that's just the screensaver in Safe Strap. Just hit power again, swipe to unlock it, and you'll be back to watching the ROM flash. All right, everything looks uh, very, very good. Um, now, normally you see it says reboot system here. You don't want to do that. You actually want to go back and back, and then you want to go to reboot, and you actually want to do reboot download. So right here, this will put you in download mode. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And this should reboot you directly into download mode, and there it is. So then from here, um, we're actually going to install some drivers on our computer. So let's shoot over to the computer really quick. And basically you can see right now we're on this step 5 right here on the computer. And we're next what we're going to do is the step 6. But to set that up, we're going to actually get into this folder where I have all of my files. So here's the uh, ROM we just flashed. Here's some Samsung drivers. Here's an Odin program, and here is uh, KitKat firmware that you're going to flash to this thing. So at this point, you want to make sure your drivers are installed. Go ahead and install the drivers. If you've probably if you've done any of the hacking that you've done so far to even get safe strap, you probably have these already done, so you probably can ignore them. But if you don't, they're here. Um, next thing you're going to do is go ahead and plug in your device. So we'll plug it in really quick. Um, here we go and it plugs in very nicely obviously you don't want to bump anything while you're doing this process so next we're going to open up my odin 3 exe and there it is everything looks good and then we're going to find the pa right here to flash which is this firmware so we'll click on it and we'll go to the right folder for it mine is in here here and actually, it's not in there right this minute, so we actually have to extract this file. So I'm going to extract it really quick. So once you download it, go ahead and extract it. And then there's the actual file I need. So let me open Odin. Actually, Odin's still open. Let me go ahead and hit PA. And then we'll go back to the file again. And there it is. Select it. And what it's going to do is it's just going to check the file really quick, make sure it's good. And it is. So then from here... You have your COM port, that looks good. Auto reboot, that's fine. F reset time, that's fine. Leave all this pre-checked how it is. And then just go ahead and hit start. Just make sure it says a COM port here. It doesn't matter what the number is. But this proves that your drivers are working functioning correctly, your cable's good, and everything's communicating correctly with the device. So go ahead and hit start. And you can see the progress down here on the device. Um, is flashing. This should flash very quick. It's just flashing boot and modems basically and your bootloader stuff. Shouldn't take too long to do. Um, so first thing was a boot, boot image, modems, a couple other quick things. And Odin is done. Device is removed and it's going to restart. So now we're going to basically just boot into stock Odex ROM, but we will have root access, BusyBox, and InitD support. Um, so, all this being said, 
Okay, now how do we get custom recovery again? How do we get safe strap functioning again, right? Um, that's what we're going to hopefully find out here very shortly. Hash code is working on safe strap for KitKat, and I think we'll have it in a couple days. We'll be able to get and install safe strap on this thing and get back and doing our modding and all our fun stuff. But this should give us KitKat, so we're going to let this thing boot up. We're done online. We're done with Odin. We can close out Odin. We can, you know, close our internet browser, whatever you're, you're using. All your files are done. You actually, at this point, can go ahead and unplug your cable from your computer or from the device. And we're going to uh, load up here. So every, hopefully everything went smoothly and we have a full boot. Full boot can take up to, you know, five minutes for this because we just flashed a whole bunch of new stuff to it. Um, I'm just super pumped to check this thing out right now. So let's see how, how this went through. All right, and here we go. There we go, now it's looking pretty. So here's your initial setup. Now it's gonna go ahead and try to connect with my 4G. I don't think I have a SIM card in this thing at this moment. So it's probably not going to function exactly the same. Right now I'm using my HTC One, but now that this thing's got KitKat, I might be going back to it. Um, but I'm gonna try to skip through the initial setup here and show you guys this ROM, so just give me a second. All right, so here we go. This is going to be initial setup. Don't show this again. All right, just magazine stuff. I don't really care for all that actually right now. So we're going to go back to home. Talks about some things. All right, so here you go. This is going to be the uh, initial ROM running right here. Um, this does look very much exactly stock TouchWiz setup. Looks exactly like it does anytime you do an Odin Restore. Um, let's go ahead and check out what we have here. Here you go, you've got some uh, toggles along the top up here. You can slide some little stuff in here, information. Here's some more of your uh, quick toggles, multi-window, all that kind of goodies. Um, let's go ahead and let's shoot into uh, settings and just show you guys what we have here. So about phone, and there you go. So Android version 4.4.2, uh, baseband is that NC2. Um, and so on. Everything else looks uh, pretty pretty slick right here. Let's see if we kick on that. We should have the K and the KitKat. So very very awesome. Like I said, huge props to Beantown for uh, getting this for us. Um, I'm super 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 pumped to check it out. See how much better this thing runs. Here you go. You can see obviously you do have Super Sue right there built into it. Um, all your little folders and stuff like that. Uh, so anyway, um, that's going to be it. That's going to be how to install KitKat on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Um, super pumped to play with this. Super pumped to get Safe Strap on it, hopefully very soon. And then uh, we'll have some maybe some cool ROM development and things like that. I uh, hope you guys like this video. Uh, please stay tuned for more on the Note 3. Please comment, like, share. Love hearing from you guys. Um, and uh, we'll probably catch you guys in the next time. Root Junkie, out.